So, here we go then. Film festivals will never be the same again. This will be our home for a whole week from the 6th to the 12th of September. And to make us feel even more welcome, I'd like to introduce this year's Buff Keynote Speaker. He's in charge of the content for BTTV. But before he makes his way to the stage, let's have a brief look at what let's have a brief look at some of the content that he's in charge of putting together for BTTV. Ours is a very happy world. This is our story. All of us. When civilization ends, it ends fast. This is what we live for, isn't it? I need to make some changes. Look into my eyes. See the power I hold over you. Thanks, Addy. Thanks, everybody. Um, my name's Tony Singh. Uh, I'm Business Affairs and Business Development Director for, for BCTV. Um, but Ad as Addy said, really what that means uh, is that uh, I'm in charge of content for BCTV, so uh, things like the launch of the AMC channel, which you saw uh, some of their great shows on the, on the reel up there, uh, our partnerships with the likes of Netflix, uh, Sky, uh, and UView. Um, and I think we didn't really consider the hashtag BTBuff. Uh, when they asked me <laughs> to do this speech. I, it's a little bit too much laughter there. I, you know, sort of, it's supposed to be gently self-deprecating, not you know, just kind of ripping me to pieces. But anyway, I also look after the distribution of our BT Sport portfolio. Um, and I have to apologise, because actually I've got a very important premium BT Sport uh, event to dash off to after this, so I'm not going to be able to stay. It's my eight-year-old daughter's school sports day. <laughs> I would love to be with you otherwise. Um, so we're delighted at BT to be uh, working with the British Urban Film Festival uh, and to host you all here at the, at the BT Tower, uh, which will be, uh, as you heard from David, the home of the festival uh, in September. We've had some very interesting guests at the Tower over the years. In fact, just in the last couple of weeks, we've had Blue Peter here, we've had Spider-Man here, uh, we've had zombies here. Uh, in fact, I think we've still got a couple of zombies uh, that I see down in the front row. So BT first launched a TV offering for our customers in 2006. In fact, we just had our 10th anniversary. Uh, we've continued to build and expand our service so that over the last three or four years, entirely coincidentally the time that I've been here, uh, we've been the fastest growing TV platform in the UK. We've got a skinny bundle of some of the best channels in the market. You saw some of them up there. Uh, and it's at a ridiculously low price. You can take those for as little as three pounds a month. We were the first to integrate Netflix onto your TV bill. Uh, um, we've also got a fantastic film offering um, with thousands of movies and box sets for, for customers to rent uh, or buy. With BT Sport, we've delivered a number of firsts. Uh, our Ultra HD channel was Europe's first live broadcast of sport in, in, in super, super rich 4K. Uh, we launched Dolby Atmos Sound, and actually recently, uh, I don't know if anybody watched it, we were the host broadcaster of the Champions League final in Cardiff. Uh, which meant that we had 70 cameras in place in the stadium uh, and we did five world feeds to over 200 million people around the world. So that's SD, uh, HD, VR, uh, 4K. Um, and so if you watch the Champions League final anywhere in the world, uh, you were watching our pictures. So let's come on to, to talk about Buff. Buff's leading the way in celebrating diversity in film. Uh, and our continued growth in TV meant that this was a great festival that we were really honoured to be asked to support. Uh, and we think that we have the perfect home for Buff here at the BT Tower. It's been one of London's most iconic buildings uh, for over 50 years. Until 1980, it was actually the tallest building uh, in London. So initially, um, it was set up to be as tall and slim as possible. 
uh, to support telecommunications traffic going from uh, London to the rest of the UK. It's 177 uh, metres tall. I think you've all been up uh, in the lifts. Were the lifts at their fastest speed this morning or was the wind making it uh, having to be a mere 1,400 feet a second or something like that? Uh, but at its widest point, it's actually only 20 metres wide. Um, and it's still one of, uh, if not the most important communication centre uh, in the UK. It's been spotted in the skyline of a lot of movies. Born, Born, Born Ultimatum, London's Fallen, uh, just, just a couple of the more recent ones. And we've had many great screenings here, um, just recently Minions, Real Steel, Gone Girl, The Revenant, to name just a few. But as well as both starring in and, and screening movies, the tower plays a really important role in how you view them. And actually, whether you're a BT customer, a Sky customer, a Virgin customer, uh, in the UK, uh, BT Tower plays a critical role. It carries approximately 95% of all British TV content, uh, including live broadcasts, 99%, in fact, of all live football games, uh, and it broadcasts the first international HD, 3D, and 4K television transmission. So television pictures come all in and out of the tower by satellite and, and IP for broadcast literally all over the world. Um, now, the revolving floor upstairs, uh, where I hope, you, I hope you took the chance to see the breathtaking views uh, across London, was once open to the public, but actually that was closed, and it's been closed since 1971. So it's a really, truly unique experience that, that very few people are lucky enough to uh, have access to. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, but we think that, and along with our heritage in broadcasting, makes it the perfect place to host uh, the Buff Festival uh, and to give people an incredible experience to go along with the incredible entertainment uh, from the films that you saw some of the trails of there. So we'll be supporting Buff not only with the BT Tower as a venue, uh, but we'll be showcasing the trailers for those films to all of our customers on, on BT TV. Um, and we'll have extended coverage, including the awards on our, our BT.com, our website, which goes to over 8 million people. Now, I hope it goes without saying, but it's not just our connection to film and entertainment that made us want to support Buff. BT is very proud to be an inclusive employer. We treat all our people fairly, and we actively encourage and celebrate difference. We help our people reach their potential without prejudice and with dignity and respect. Uh, and we've become an employer of choice, so we've won a number of awards and achieved a top 10 place uh, in both the Rate for Opportunity and Opportunity Now benchmarks. Uh, we've got employee networks across our organization, including uh, LGBT+, disabilities, ethnic minorities, carers, Christians, uh, and Muslims. So, uh, as I say, we're really proud to make the twin connection between uh, the entertainment and the social purpose of, of, of Buff. Um, so I won't keep you any more. Uh, I'm sure you're eager to hear uh, the detail uh, of what to expect uh, at the festival. But thank you very much for joining us uh, here at BT today, and I, I look forward to to talking to you perhaps uh, in September. Thank you. Thank you.